Hi, it's Ursula from Ursula-Smith.com and today we're going to be making faux rust. Um, I love rust anything kind of grungy um, and I've made my own rust papers but um, I did this for a class one time and it came out fun so I thought try it for a creative clutch. Um, you can, the supplies you're going to need, you can use um, colored embossing pastes. You're going to need uh, orange, black, and probably like a white, um, or you can mix your own. And for black, sometimes I'll use micaceous iron oxide. It's one of my favorite paints. Um, but we're going to be also using uh, molding paste today. We're going to color it up. So instead of using the pre-colored stuff, we're going to color it ourselves and make some faux rusted paper. Thanks for joining me. Here comes the project. So today, to make the faux rust, I'm going to be mixing my own color. So I'm going to use some light molding paste. I'm probably going to start out with micaceous iron oxide and uh, just some colors, red, orange, gold, brown, uh, that I can mix together to get a kind of rust color. So, and you can mix off paper. I'm just going to use some of this paper to um, paint on. And I'm going to start with a base of the micaceous iron oxide. So we look like we've started with a metallic something. And if you really want to do this right, this base coat should dry. So this is not too time consuming a project for the different steps, but it's the drying time in between. So I'm going to keep moving forward and um, rather than letting that dry, but we really should let that dry. So then you can take some molding paste and I'm just going to use a touch of it. Yeah clean my knife well enough. And you can add some orange. Depends how what color you like your rust. You can use a little bit of red. You can add in some of the micaceous. You can add a little touch of brown just to make it dirtier. And then you're going to mix that into the molding paste. And then you're just going to ever so lightly just add touches of it here and there. And I, of course, still have wet paint, so I'm trying to do it without lifting up the base color. The nice thing about mixing it into the wet paint is it will mix in and get that kind of dirty rust color. And of course there's nothing to preclude you from going back and doing another coat after this. I think I might have to do that because I'm lifting up the paint now. you get the idea. So I don't know if you can see that. The iron oxide kind of has a glimmer to it, so it's kind of hard to see on camera. But that is step one of the faux rust project. And after it dries, we'll move on to step two. See you in a few. And I'm back. So I just wanted to show you, this is what the rusted paper looks like cut down, I actually cut it down into a an A2 card size. Um, could have done it as a tag as well. It would look very cool. So you could just leave it like this if you wanted and then embellish it with whatever, maybe some metal pieces or something like that. But I'm actually going to take it away now and run it through an embossing folder. And I will be right back. And I'm back. So here is the card front after running it through 
an embossing folder. Hopefully you can see what it looks like. There you go. So it kind of look makes it look almost like rusted wrought iron, um, especially with that design. It looks really cool. Now you could go back in and if you want to, you could just brush over some of the um, pieces that are sticking up with, it's wa wiping out my rust, it's washing out my rust, no, um, you know, with some additional rust colored paint, there you go, and just to kind of highlight some of the raised areas if you wanted. But anyway, or so you, this again could be a card front, you could cut it down into a tag shape. And again, not too difficult, not too long. There is drying time in between, but I would call that another Take 5 project. Thanks for joining me. See you next time. And I'm back. So I just had a thought as I was walking around my studio. Here's the results of the painted faux rust, but look what I have here, a rust colored pan pastel. I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder how that would work on top of painted micaceous oxide. So I am going to give it a shot and we'll see how it turns out. Let me just grab, so I'm just grabbing a little bit of the pan pastel. Oh yeah. And I'm just gonna rub it. across the top and it actually kind of looks cool. It looks like powdered rust. I think again you have to be very gentle. Oh that's very cool. So yeah just a little bit goes a long way. So can you see that? So rather than mixing up the faux rust with paint, I think you could just do it straight with the pan pastel. And then of course you would want to spray it with a fixative. So there you go. That's definitely Take 5 Project. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.